Hey everybody, it's your boy LeBay at Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like and subscribe to the channel. You guys know your support means everything to me. I can't do this without you. I want to thank you for rocking with me so long. Uh, we have over 500 subscribers now. We have crossed over the 500 subscriber plane. I want to thank you guys. Thank you so much for honoring me with your presence here. I know that you have your uh, pick of content creators out there. There's a lot of us out there at the, at the moment. And I just want to say thank you for spending some time with me today. Today's review is going to be on an indie niche fragrance. You guys know I love to give love to the indie uh, perfumers and companies out there. That's, that's what I do. You know, Tom Ford doesn't need my videos. Chanel doesn't need my videos. But some of these smaller companies um, and smaller perfumers absolutely do need my uh, reviews. They need your reviews as well. So if you run across any indie niche uh, companies that are doing something good and look appealing and interesting, I would absolutely suggest reaching out to them like I did with this company. I am doing a review today on Curio Noirs Tobacco Night. Now, Tobacco Night came out in 2016. It was founded in New Zealand. Curio Noir was founded in New Zealand by Tiffany Jeans. The notes of the fragrance are sage, coriander, dried tobacco leaves, elemi, amber, and musk. Now this was inspired by a sweet musky after scent from a smoked tobacco pipe. And it's lingering one thick summer night, uh, conjuring images of leather bound books and an innocent uh, time once loved by many people. Now, I know we haven't been able to be gathered uh, in such a location to enjoy uh, such scents for the past year, but things are opening back up now, so hopefully we will be able to do so and we'll be able to enjoy Tobacco Night in a setting such as what I just described. Now, I have worn this on skin. It is an amazing, amazing tobacco scent. I love tobacco scents, but the best characteristic of this bottle, and I will have to be careful here, is the presentation. This bottle is amazing. It's thick glass. It's simple with the Curio Noir sticker on the front and the name of the fragrance. However, the best uh, feature of the presentation is that this is not a spray bottle. This is an actual dabber so that you can have uh, application wherever you want it and you're not going to waste a lot of juice. You know, with the mist and the sprays, sometimes, you know, juice goes flying everywhere. With this, you can apply to the exact locations and the pulse points you want to apply to without wasting any of the juice whatsoever. Now, this is my scent of the day. I am going to give a fresh application to my hand here just so I can give you an up-to-date, real-time uh, review. <sighs> oh, this is good. This is so good. You know, one of my favorite quotes is that um, culture opens up the sense of beauty, and that's by Ralph Waldo Emerson. And, and the New Zealand culture, the Maori culture that this fragrance exudes is just amazing to me. You can tell that this fragrance was created with care, with love, with respect, with reverence. It truly is a stunning, stunning tobacco fragrance. Um, despite the presence of notes that may seem heavy, you know, you have the sage and the coriander and the dry tobacco leaves, it wears remarkably light on my skin. This is a tobacco fragrance that I would not mind pulling for in the summertime. Now, in the summertime heat of the day, probably not, but certainly, you know, as I stated before, on a summer night, I absolutely would definitely pull for this. It opens up with sage and coriander that's very aromatic. There is, at least to my nose, maybe a hidden whiskey accord in here, um, or maybe I'm just craving a glass of whiskey right now. I don't know. It's been a heck of a morning at work. Um, but I do feel that there is a, a bit of a whiskey vibe here. Um, if I can compare it, I, I would say that this the tobacco or the whiskey note that I'm experiencing right now is close to, but not as strong as Nasamato Baronda. Um, 
So I definitely get that kind of vibe there. If you like Better Onda by Nasamato, you might really, really like this. Um, the tobacco leaves come alive in a few minutes, a few minutes into the fragrance, about three or four minutes into the fragrance, the tobacco leaves absolutely come alive. This is a straight tobacco fragrance. You are going to absolutely adore it. If you like Herod, if you like Tobacco Vanille, I encourage you to get your noses on Tobacco Night by Curio Noir. Um, the tobacco, even though it's coming alive now, it's, it's a unique tobacco that kind of straddles the line between both pipe tobacco and cigar tobacco. Um, I am a cigar smoker. I know exactly what cigar uh, tobacco smells like. Um, I'm not really a, I've never smoked a pipe. I do know people that smoke pipes and it, it's straddling that line very, very, very well here. But um, the true wonder of the scent is in the dry down. It's warm, it's, it's resinous, it's deep, it's dark, but not too dark. It's just cozy. This is a cool weather, um, close combat scent. Now you can pull it off all seasons, but this will really shine in the fall and early winter while you're nuzzled up on the couch or by the fireplace and things like that. Um, it, it's absolutely perfect for that situation as well. Uh, the tobacco turns from a casual midday light bodied uh, smoke, if you're smoking a cigar or a pipe, to a dark sensual nighttime event. So this is, um, I believe, good for casual wear, but also good for formal wear. If you are going to a formal event and um, there's going to be drinks there and, and maybe somebody smoking a cigar. It's perfect for that as well. Suit and tie, dressed up, dressed down. You can wear this, you know, all, at all occasions would be fitting for this fragrance. Performance on my skin is eight hours plus of perceptible scent before it dries down. It never really begins uh, to be a skin scent. Um, you do have to get a little close at at the uh, eight and a half, nine hour mark, but it's still perceptible. You can still smell it. Um, so the performance is absolutely there. And I, I knew where I was gonna go with this because this smell has a distinct memory for me. So when I was a kid, I used to have to go to the hospital a lot, twice a year for regular checkups, um, had a few operations here and there, but what I remember most was that my doctor, now keep in mind, this is in the early to mid eighties. Uh, so this was allowed and, you know, commonplace at that point. Uh, my doctor used to smoke a pipe. He was a pipe smoker. And I would smell his pipe from the room I was sitting in as he was walking up and down the hallways, uh, dictating into his recorder um, notes. And it was absolutely the most intoxicating, wonderful smell I had ever smelled. And this fragrance, Curio Noir's Tobacco Night, really transports me back to being a kid in the hospital waiting room, um, just smelling that smell in the air, uh, my doctor smoking his pipe. Now, like I said, it was the mid 80s. You know, this was acceptable practice. Nobody was sensitive about smoking and, and all that stuff. Um, but man, do I absolutely adore that fragrance and that memory and Curio, to Curio Noir Tobacco Night brings me back to that place. I may not have had the best experiences in the hospital. However, that experience, that smell, that fragrance, absolutely wonderful to me, brings me back to that place. And I absolutely am in a happy place when I smell this fragrance. Uh, guys, that's my time. I'm not going to belabor this any longer. If you haven't gotten your nose on Tobacco Night, I'm going to leave some information down below in the description so that you will be able to hopefully get your noses on it, get a sample. Um, I want to thank Curio Noir for providing me a bottle for my review. As you guys know, all opinions are my own. I do not uh, do favorable reviews just because I get something from a company. If it's great, I'm going to tell you. If I like it, I'm going to tell you. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you. You guys know that about me. I don't fake it for anybody. 
That's my time. Thank you very much. Go down below, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell too so that you'll be notified about every time I drop a video to YouTube. That's my time. Have a great day, guys. I'll check you next time.